Dear Jake, a very quick, scribbly and incoherent letter to you and Hannah. Some of the things you said about the possible film last night made me uneasy. Hannah wrote me a letter many years ago asking me to appear on a program designed to demystify painting. I refused, of course. The thing is, painting is mysterious and I don't want it demystified. It's no good presenting artists as approachable blokes who happen to paint, although some may have the coolness or the grace to lend themselves to this. And in this case, you will be dealing with someone who is prepared to answer questions and to explain, but who is not prepared to lend himself to performing in a film as though he wanted to contact the general public. If I have ever thought of contacting anybody, it is the misfit in the back room who rejects the general public and television films. I think that Hannah should know what sort of a beast she is dealing with, a beast in a burrow that does not wish to be invaded. Of course I don't mind and wouldn't object to anything other people say, but I think Hannah should interview me before making film plans. P.S. I go to the cinema when I'm tired, perhaps once a month, the theatre twice a year, and watch television in the middle of the night when I can't sleep at Finsbury Park. I'm not prepared to talk about any of this, let alone perform it. It is entirely irrelevant to a film which I would prefer to be centred on the work and to answer a few questions arising from it. As a student, Frank Auerbach sold his pictures from a London pavement. Now, at the age of 70, his work commands significant prices and hangs in the world's major museums and private collections. The paintings by Auerbach and his contemporaries, including Michael Andrews, Francis Bacon and Lucian Freud, have made London the centre for figurative art. Auerbach's paintings are the hardest to understand. His work is bewitching, often difficult, and always uncompromising. For the last 47 years, Auerbach has lived alone in a small studio in Camden Town. He works 364 days a year, 